Hey guys, this is Nate coming back to you again today. Uh, today is December 11th, 2016. I promised you guys a while back, whenever I first did my lemon tree video, that I would give you guys updates periodically. Well, I'm here to give you guys that update and bring it to your attention. So, here is the smallest lemon tree. I uh, don't know if you can see that right well. Alright, so I opened up the jar whenever I showed you guys a small little plant. This is a small one that I'd shown you guys before. Uh, it's been two months and about nine days since I shot that video. So, I mean, it's grown quite a bit in that period of time. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a couple small buds right here on this side and then there's one on this side those that is where leaves were at you can see them down here I actually had to cut the bottom leaves off trim them because they were infested with mildew as you can see down here on the bottom alright so I've been fighting with that here for the last I'd say two or three weeks or so uh, it's gotten pretty cold uh, and it gets right around the, the right circumstances for that to develop and it was pretty bad uh, I'll show you guys how I treated that and got it down this far now, I've only been treating it for probably I'd say I treat it two or three times a week maybe if that now and it pr has pretty much just dissipated I mean there's not not very much there not enough to really worry about uh, some of the solution you could probably see right there on the leaf that has developed now you've probably noticed this black mark right here on this popsicle stick that I've put up against this lemon tree well that little black mark is a mark that I made about two weeks ago so I mean it's been pretty cold I just recently brought these indoors and repotted them well two weeks ago that's where this lemon tree was I mean it was still pretty small the weather had stunted its growth because I mean things don't normally grow in the winter time so uh, whenever I noticed it wasn't really growing very much I brought it indoors put it underneath a plant lamp to try to get it to start growing again so in the last two weeks it's grown about an inch in the last two weeks nothing extremely impressive but hey every little bit helps so this is a small one now let me go ahead and show you the bigger of the two so size comparison I mean this one is just a little bit bigger by about an inch or so I don't know how well you guys can see that but just about an inch or so bigger, nothing major. And uh, this one here, there's a bud right there, and you can see where the leaf is on the ground there, where I had to cut off the leaf because it was having the same mildew problem as well. And once again, I had to treat, treat this one as well. Now, that little black mark back there is, once again, about two weeks old. So, I mean, it's grown probably about an inch in two weeks the trunks have started thickening up as you can see and uh, the setup I have here the the dirt that's in here is just half manure half topsoil just mixed around and I've got a hole in the bottom of this paper cup so that way it can have pretty good drainage and any water that's left over after I water it just falls into this little glass jar down there you can probably see it moving around and uh, and that's just about it uh, that's my little setup uh, the little plant light that I got going on I'll show you guys right quick all it is is just a little fluorescent light that I got from Walmart it run me I think $13 and this is just a storage table this is just a little cheapo plastic storage table that I fastened the light to one of the bottoms of the shelves and I just keep my lemon trees right up here and 
I mean, they're probably about probably about 10 inches from that light. So I mean, it should do them pretty well. And all those other pots you see there, are other experiments I've been working on, which I'll introduce you to a little bit later and at another time. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with more updates here in a little while. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.